Hello everyone and welcome to the start of a brand new series on the channel and that is my CSR discography series. CSR is one of the group that I check out lately as part of my discovery series and I like what I heard there so I knew that I was going to do a deep dive onto um, into their discography. So a couple of things before I talk about today's album. As you can tell, if it's your first time on the channel, things are a little bit different here. That's just because I personally find visuals very distracting. And when I try to get to know, sorry, when I try to get to know an artist for the first time, I like to focus on the music and the music only. That's how I pick biases. That's how I decide whether or not I'm going to stay and stand. Because, you know, MVs and stages and all the rest, for me, I see all of that as a bonus. I need to connect with the music because that's what I'm going to consume the most. I'm not the biggest streamer of MVs and anything like that, but I consume music a lot. You know, I spend my entire day with music. Unless it's really necessary, I almost, I'm almost never like not listening to something. So because of that, I am looking for songs and albums that I can play the entire day and not get tired of. But if I'm gravitating towards a group, towards a group because of the visuals, there's no way I will do that with the music, you know. So I want to stay true to myself while going on this journey of me discovering more music and more groups out there. And this is the best way that I've found to do that. Also, it's always going to be reviews and not first listen because of my listening patterns. I know that my number one thing is replay value and there's no way I can gauge that with just a first listen. Also songs, some songs definitely grow on you and I don't want to miss out on a favorite because I listened to that one album once and never give it a second thought, you know. I rather take my time with the album and, you know, see which song I love from the get go, which songs grow on me. Sometimes I even like a song at first and then by the second listen, it's no longer something that I enjoy. So it's better for me to listen to albums multiple times and then I'll know exactly which song is my favorite, which one I still need time with and which one are definitely not for me. So um, that's why I'm going to go with reviews because they allow me to really um, ref reflect my listening process and everything. So for today, I took out sequence 17 and, and I liked it. Um, there's only two songs um, on here, which it's a shame. I wanted more songs. Um, it's nothing to CSR um, the service. It's just I am a firm hater of single albums like if there's somebody that hates single albums anything single special anything with less than five songs i have an issue with and even with my favorite that i already like favorite for a long time every time they put out music and it's a single or a special album i look at them sideways because i believe strongly believe that there's no way two songs are going to be able to really showcase a vision. And what ends up happening is I'm always left frustrated. Either I love all of the songs and I'm frustrated because I just didn't want the album to end. Or I like one song, I don't like the other, and now I don't even know how I feel about the album. Or I don't like both of the songs, and I am upset because since there's only those two songs, now what am I going to do? So either way, I'm always in a state of frustration when it comes to single albums, which is why I'm not the biggest fan of them. But you know, once in a while, there's that exception that happens. But for the most part, I dislike single 
albums. Like nothing to the artist or any whoever it is. I do not like single albums. And here it was two songs, and I was already like, uh, here we go. <laughs> I know that I'm going to be frustrated anyway, but like I have so many different levels of frustration. It's okay. And here it's frustration good. Um, I like both of the songs on there and I'm frustrated because I love them so much. I never want the album to be over. It's oh and it feels like it's so quickly. Like you listen to the album and in the blink of an eye, the album is over. Like how? You know, <laughs> and it's crazy to me how I still do that to myself, like, and it's over. I'm like, replay, 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 hoping that maybe magically a third song was going to happen because this was so good. Let me tell you, CSR has that earworm music. You know the type of song? You just need one listen and it's over. Like, it will replay. Even if the... You know what I felt like? It's like when I was not even listening to the album, the album was still playing in my head. I don't know if you had the songs. Like, you listen to it once, and whatever it is that you are doing, the song keeps playing in your head. So you end up just humming to it for the rest of the day. And that's exactly what happened here. Like, this is earworm type of music. It's catchy. Oh, it's. But the thing is, it's good. It's really, really good. And um, I'm somebody that does not enjoy music that is way too bright. But what I love about CSR is like they have that nice balance between, um, you know, something that is a bit too, 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 too happy-ish and something that is just the right level. It's like, it's fun. It's fresh. Um, the vocals are there. It's catchy without sounding like bubble gummy, which I really enjoy. And I think that's why I was left so frustrated because I just wanted more songs. It's so good. It's too good to end that quickly. So, but it's okay. I do understand that sometimes single albums serve a purpose and I'm hoping that the next one is a bit longer, but like I have nothing to complain about when it comes to just skills and their voices and everything that they've done here. The songs are good. It's just I wish there were more songs. Now, although I love both songs, there's definitely one that pulls me in a bit more and that is ending.
that was my favorite song on the album. Oh, it's just so cute. It's catchy. The vocals are really beautiful, especially the bridge. When they take everything out and you're just left with that clear, beautiful vocal, oh, that that did it for me. That's the moment I knew because up until the second chorus, I was still kind of stuck between this and Love Deacon, which song was going to be my favorite. But that bridge, it convinced me. I was like, yeah, this is the one. This is the one. I believe this song really represents everything that is great about CSR. It's fresh music that is good, clear vocals that are so beautiful, so airy, and I love that so much. Now, I am so excited to go on this journey and find even more songs to be um, raving about and find, you know, an album that I just cannot live without. Let me know in the comments how you felt about this album, which song ended up your favorite. Is it ending like me or maybe you are more of a lofty kind of person? Also, who's your bias? What's your favorite album and song by them? And if you want more, just stick around and subscribe.